So in this video, I will technically show you which is the Chromecast app which you want to download on your App Store on your iPhone in order to connect it to your Google Chromecast. I will also show you how you can actually set it up from the very beginning and how you can connect your Chromecast Google Home app onto your Chromecast device on your TV. For that, make sure to watch this video till the end. Now, the very first thing you have to do is simply download this app which says Google Home. It is easily available on your App Store on both Android and iOS. You can see this very Google Home app in this home-like icon. In my case, I have already downloaded this app, so I'm going to open the Google Home app and basically it will ask me for some permissions which you have to actually allow. If you haven't created a home before, you can see it says me to actually create a home and inside that home we need to add our device which is the Chromecast device. The very first thing I'm going to do is tap on the get started button and it'll ask me to set up a device such as Chromecast or something. So I'm going to tap on the new devices right over here and it'll ask me to first of all create a home as well. So I'm going to tap on create a home and then tap on next and then I'm going to simply name this home. Once you name the home, you can tap on next and follow other instructions. Let me show you. It will ask me for some address permissions. Now, I'm not going to enter my address. If you want, you could typically go ahead and do that. But then I'm going to skip this process. Now, let's see what's going to say us. Now, it says us to choose a home which we actually just created. I'm going to choose this home which I added and then tap on the next button. Now once we have created our home, all we have to do is add our Chromecast device to this home. In order to do that, at the very top left, you have to simply tap on set up Chromecast. Once you tap on set up Chromecast, choose a home where you want to add that Chromecast device to. And then I'm going to tap on the next button. You can say looking for devices. And assuming you have already connected all of the cables properly on your Chromecast device into the port of your TV at the back side, you'll get some more this kind of interface. So we're going to simply wait until our iPhone actually detects this Chromecast device on which is actually just behind us. So you can see in my case, it says Chromecast found. And if you look closely, you can see this number right over here. You want to make sure that it's exactly the same as the number displaying on your Chromecast device at the bottom right hand side of the screen. So you can see the exact number in case Sometimes what happens is that your neighbor could also be trying to connect to the Chromecast device and you might actually just mistakenly connect to someone else's. You want to be aware of that device name and then I'm going to tap on the next button. It says me connecting to Chromecast and before, if you haven't actually done this before, it would ask you for all of the Bluetooth permissions and so on. How you could enable it from the settings and how you can turn on Bluetooth as well. It says me to verify the code. You can see the exact code on, on the back of our TV as well. So all we have to do is simply verify the code on our phone as well you can see the same code so i'm going to tap on the next button again and you can see it says so i'm going to tap on yes i'm in you could go ahead and select where this device actually is i'm going to simply select office and then tap on the next button it will ask me to connect my tv or my chromecast device onto the wi-fi so i will tap on the next button and i will simply re-enter the password again make sure that both of the internet connection on your iphone as well as your tv is actually typically the same so once you've actually entered my wi-fi password i'm going to tap on the connect button and it will save me connecting to wi-fi now this process may actually take a while in the back background as well you can see it says connecting so I'm going to simply wait until this process is actually completed so now you can see it says we have successfully connected our Chromecast device it says linking you can tap on the continue button at the bottom of the screen right over here it may take some time depending on your internet connection as well as how strong the connection is so we will be patient and wait tap on the next button and now you can see that our device is actually successfully ready. So I'm going to tap on next. Now you could go ahead and actually browse Netflix, YouTube and so on. You can skip this tutorial if you want as well. And now you can see we have successfully connected our Chromecast app onto our Chromecast device as well. We hope this video was really helpful and if it did help you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any more questions, queries or doubts, simply make sure to leave them down below. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon in our next video.